Adrian y te voy a ayudar a aprender español. Hi, my name is Adrian and I'm going to help you to learn Spanish. So, we are going to be talking about the last form of what category of verbs in Spanish. So far we have mentioned the very two other categories, verbs ending in are and verbs ending in er. So our next category and the very last one when it comes to regular verbs in Spanish is going to be the one ending in ir. So we've identified before verbs ending in ar, in er, and now we are going to be talking about verbs ending in, in ir. Okay? Before we are going to go to the very last column, uh, I am inviting you to watch my previous videos about verbs ending in R and verbs ending in ER, but I will not be able to start the lesson to talk to you about ER without making a very quick reference to verbs ending in R and in ER. So, first of all, let's remember the person. So we've had yo, which is I, we've had tu, which is you, el, he, ella, she. So I remember, reminded you that double L is pronounced like ya, yeah, for example. Nosotros, and nosotros translates to we, but when you talk about masculine on its own or masculine and feminine, and if you want to make reference only to girls, it's going to be nosotras. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to write this word again, but further more towards the edge. So, nosotros, nosotras. The same for vosotros and vosotras. And as I said, this translates to you all and it's something that is relatable to um, Spanish that is spoken in Spain. Also got ellos, which means they, and makes reference to both masculine, uh, either masculine or um, masculine and feminine. So if there are male as well making reference to they, then you are going to use this one. If there are only girls, you are going to say ellas, and I'm going to underline the double L because it translates through to E. Okay, or read through E. Right, the endings for verbs ending in R, we've identified they were O. Then we had us, a, a, emos, sorry, amos, I was thinking already ahead, ais, and then we had an, and an. Okay? When it comes to verbs ending in er, I was literally saying that we are going to replace where we've got a, we are going to replace it with er. So do we have a in the front for i? No. So it's going to be o. Then as becomes s, a becomes e. For she is going to be a as well. Amos is going to become emos. Ice is going to become ace, and we are going to keep the accent as well, and then we are going to have N, N, N as well. Right, we'll go to the third category, is what our lesson about is going to be about today. There are going to be no changes compared to the other group. What I could say, there is not much difference in between this group and this group normally. There will always going to be... If when we are going to be talking about past tense, for example, there is no difference in between these uh, two endings, like verb categories. This will always be different, verbs ending in R, but these two might have the same endings in the future. Today, though, the, the only difference is going to be here. So we have got only different endings for we, o, we, and you all. For these other forms, we are going to literally have the same as an air verb. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy down o, s, e, e for he, she. I'm going to skip 
we and you all at the moment, we go and copy the forms for they. Literally, what we will need to do in this part, we are going to replace the E with E. So we are going to have E Moss. And on the other one, if I'm going to be replacing the E, we will end up with double E. But instead, we are going to have just one. So is with an accent on top. It's not going to be is. A is, is just is, okay? Um, and we are going to go and have an example, like for example, the verb vivir. Vivir means to live, okay? And we are going to get rid of ir, get rid of to, and literally copy everything down, so it's going to be viv, 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 I'm going to copy them six times, okay, and then I'm going to be adding the ending and the translation, so, vivo, I live, vives, you live, vive, he or she, vivimos, it's going to be we live, Vivis, which will work for you all, and viven, they live. And I'm going to copy the verb now. So I live, you live, you she it lives, we live, you all live, and they live. Okay? And that's it pretty much. So it's not going to be a massive difference in between these two ones. And if we learn the very first column, then we know the second column, we replace the as to as. And in the very last one, the only difference is going to be this particular two verbs. I hope the explanation was useful and quite easy to understand. If there are any questions, do let us know, because I would like to hear your feedback about this. If you'd like me to do a more presentation in Spanish and to explain all of this in Spanish, do please let me know, and I'm going to be doing a presentation fully in Spanish for you. And um, let's practice now. Okay, so vamos a practicar. I'm going to be giving you two verbs today. One is escribir, and it means to write. So very similar to the word describe, okay? And the other one is abrir, which means to open. Abro la ventana, I open the window, okay? So let's see how these verbs are going to go into present tense. So as we know, we are removing the year on both of them. So to say I write, simply escribo. Write. To say you write, the same. Keep the verb without the year and we write escribes. For he and she, simply escribe. For we is going to be escribimos, escribis is going to be for you all, and the very last one, escriben, okay, they uh, write. Now for the verb abrir, abr, abro. I open. Abres. Okay, let me change the pen. So, abres, you open. Abre, he where she opens. Abrimos, we open. Abris, you all open. 
and Abre, they open. Okay? So this is how we, we practice the two verbs today. Let's uh, have a quick revision of the endings and we are going to finish this session. So verbs ending in R in present tense. A, O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. Verbs ending in R, O, S, E, EMOS, AIS, N. And the last one, pretty much similar, O, S, E, IMOS, IS, N. So remember that only these two for we and you all are going to keep uh, the form similar to, to ear, okay? So that was it from me today. Please uh, subscribe, uh, comment, let me know how useful you found these videos and we shall see you in the next video. Adios.